Hi, everyone. I wanted to uh, thank you for coming out tonight. My name is Sean Bird, and I am at home in Salmon Arm, enjoying the cold and blustery weather as we're waiting for spring to finally show up. Um, and uh, so I couldn't come out and be with you this evening. But I want to welcome you and uh, thank you for supporting small presses like Coffin Hop and um, writers like me and Sarah and Tim. I hope you will uh, enjoy your evening. I also wanted to take a moment to tell you a little bit about how um, Murdering Mr. Edwards came to happen. I am a high school teacher and for the last several years I was working in a very small school where I wore many hats. I was a counselor and career coordinator and a librarian and a English teacher and art teacher and drama teacher. Um, and one of the things that occurred to me one day was they have this, this line that goes, um, don't annoy a writer. If they'll put you in their novel and they'll kill you. And, um, and I was thinking that teachers actually know way more scary stuff. And they actually have the power to do something with that knowledge. And so I just went up to one of my colleagues. Um, I started with the PE teacher, because he was also a counselor and he sat next to me. And I asked him, um, if you were going to murder someone in the PE department, how would you do it? And um, it should really alarm some of the students that he's had in the past that were in his dodgeball class and wondered why he was always hitting them so hard, that his answer was that he would throw successively heavier balls at people until they die. And so that was a spoiler alert, sorry. Um, <laughs> so I took that and I wrote a story and um, left it on the staff room and table and everybody read it and had a good chuckle. And then I went and I asked someone else what they would do and, and uh, my goodness, the things that those people know. The chemistry teacher, they could poison you just so easily. And the physics teacher, they have a hundred things going on in the physics department um, storage room that could kill the entire school. You could blow up the school in a day. Um, the math teachers, they can calculate anything. Um, I asked the principal, and I thought the principal was going to tell me that he would bore them to death, but he told me, without a second's hesitation, I would bludgeon them. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and uh, he wasn't quite sure what he would use to bludgeon them, but he was determined that that's what he would do. Um, the secretary um, told me I would kill him with kindness and of course she was a very kind person so of course she would and um, the secretary's tale made it to uh, it was shortlisted for the storytellers award at Surrey International Writing Conference this close to a thousand bucks for that story. Um, the PE teacher's tale, one page of it was read at When Words Collide and uh, Axel and Rob heard it and uh, they said, we wanna know more and here we are tonight. So um, thanks Axel and Rob for believing in this weird little book of crazy tales. And um, I wanna assure everyone in the audience that the benefit of being a teacher is that even though you know horrible things, you don't apply them. You use them for the good of the world. So um, be assured that your children are safe. Um, most of the children are safe. And I wish you a lovely evening. And uh, please buy a lot of books, particularly Sarah's and Tim's and mine. Okay, bye.